combination of responsive yet solid flight controls, respectable climb performance, and advanced avionics mean the Bristel SLSA makes a great two-person cross-country flying machine, or a great way to build skill towards an instrument rating and the competence to fly heavier, faster airplanes. The special light sport version of the Bristel is tailored for the U.S. market until further Part 23 approval is secured, hopefully as soon as Mosaic passes. But the minor limitations of the category don't take away much from the Bristel's appeal. With a wide cockpit and expansive canopy, the Bristel feels comfortable with thoughtfully placed vents and the ability to taxi with that canopy open, something you try first off when going for a test flight. Powered by a turbocharged Rotax 915IS turning a Duke 4-blade or Cincinnati 3-blade prop, the Bristel uses that 135 horsepower at max continuous to leap off the runway, as it did both in our earlier test flights and during the photo shoot for the feature in flying shot down at the Naples Airport in Florida. Up front, the Bristel comes in a couple of different flavors, customized for the particular owner's mission. Ours had a full IFR kit with dual Garmin G3X Touch integrated flight displays and a Garmin G5 electronic flight instrument for a backup. A GMC 507 autopilot rounds out the package. We taxi out for the photo mission and take off cross country along the southwestern coast of Florida over the mangroves and the Gulf waters. We fly off an air cam owned by flying musician Jeff Owen. Low and slow and great for photos. The formation flying highlights the great visibility from the Bristel and its ability to hang in there in the lower airspeed regimes. Mission accomplished, we head back towards the airport and we break off to do some more fun flying before the day is done. Safety features abound from the optional ballistic recovery system to electronic stability protection and Garmin Smart Glide and a cool angle of attack enunciating system that turns the glare shield lighting red if you stray into the danger zone. We find it when I put the Bristel through its paces after our shoot in a stall series in slow flight in the beautiful evening light. Time to head back to the airport and for a night landing to complement the great crosswind practice I got on my earlier demo flight in the airplane a few weeks before. It's great to have seen how it handled winds up to the demonstrated crosswind limits and gusts above 20 knots. Though it definitely is a 1,320 pound airplane and light, it manages to punch above its weight, no pun intended. Pilots can take advantage of the well-equipped cross-country focused Bristol to make trips that normally would be reserved for its big brothers on the ramp. And it's a great airplane to use to fly with a friend or family member, or to build time till you're ready for something with even more performance. I found the Bristol to be a great touring airplane to sport around in, and a solid performer for long cross-country flights, if you can pack within the LSA weight limits for now. It's fast and has a great design heritage that makes it as much fun to fly as it looks.